today we will create few circuits here you see there are two circuits here one is a common incomer main incoming panel with a 415 volt incoming supply here we are getting there is a circuit breaker acb acb is air circuit breaker and rib indications are there in the incoming side of the acb and ct that is current transformer through which we are measuring the current flowing in the circuit through an ammeter and ass is nothing but a ammeter selector switch just to see the current between phase and again here is one voltmeter that is again connected through a voltage selector switch vss and it is protected by three fu fuses this 101 that, that is you forgot about that that is basically the tag name which uh, i follow because when i create schematic diagrams these are called single line diagrams okay when i create this schematic detailed wiring diagram these circuits will come under sheet number 101 in this project i will create a sheet called e101 so in that particular sheet you can see all these wiring diagram power distribution because in a lineup basically in panel lineups there may be many panels this is one of them incomer panel and see the other is a drive panel drive is nothing just like a starter we use this using this you can control the speed torque very accurately this drive incoming side of this drive this is protected through an mccb molded k circuit breaker and there is a line reactor line choke lch line choke in the incoming side of the drive and this is a drive and which is connect uh, driving a motor of so and so kilowatt this is encoder feedback speed feedback and this these are the few mcbs which i am using to for panel lighting panel cooling fan etc okay so this is one panel and this is another panel it is just like this you see if you see the physical layout of this panel the main incoming supply <coughs> the main incoming supply is coming from bottom in this case it is connected to the acb and through the acb this is flowing through a bus bar throughout the panel now here i have shown only three panels there can be many even 10 15 20 okay so if you see the second panel this one drive panel this is one panel there i have installed a drive and this is isolated through an mccb and the output will go through the bottom to the field wherever the motor is installed this is the basic concept this is another drive and there can be many this is what i represented through the single line diagram the main supply is coming here this is the acb and these are the indications which you normally see on the doors rib whether the supply is coming or not all the three phase are coming or not then only you you can switch on the acb but these are voltmeter ammeter current and this will go to if you see this will go to the inter panel bus bars and from there from those bus bar we will tap three phase supply through an mccb and line reactor to the drive and the output side of this drive will be terminated inside the panel so that the cables from field from the motor can be drawn into the panel and will terminate this terminal this is the outgoing side in this case i have assumed that this particular drive have both incoming and outgoing terminals on the bottom side okay so incoming supply is given to the terminals input terminals of the drive and the output has terminated here and it will go out now what i am going to do is 
I will show you how I draw the detailed wiring diagram. This is simple single line diagram. Okay, you cannot put any wire number here because only you can see only one line here. In fact, there are three phases coming. See, this three line represents three phases. Three phases coming here, and you have to put some wire numbers there. And there are many many controls. You cannot represent all this through single line diagram. This will give you the overall idea of what a circuit looks like. That's all. So many cases, what do you know? When you get a project and all, you don't have sufficient time. You may not get sufficient time to prepare a detailed wiring diagram. So what people normally do is they prepare a proposed power distribution scheme. We are proposing you can call it single line diagram. This is how it looks like. We will get your supply from customer side and we will connect it to through the ACB and the rating will be this and it will be connected like this. This is single line diagram. Simultaneously, we will, I also pr prepare a panel layout like this, not like this, with the exact uh, dimensions and all, and uh, it will look like this. So once the customer approve this, we will go, once the customer approve the number of panels, the distribution uh, methodology, and the ratings of switch here, switch years and all, then we prepare the schematic diagram that is detailed wiring diagram so that will be final otherwise what happens is when you if you start preparing the schematic diagram initially if you, the customer may ask you for any changes it will consume a lot of time to rework on this so once this is through you can blindly follow this single line diagram you just convert it into three line diagram so now today we will learn how we can draw three line diagram of these two circuits first this incomer and this drive panel again this is one of the methods which i am going to show you you can draw it in many ways i use a different method method but here i am going to show you considering you as a beginner in autocad electrical there are many easy methods but I will show you the simplest one this is my title block okay here I am going to draw a wiring diagram so first of all I have to draw three phase supply okay. you can go back here this is three phase supply coming from customer side right so I am converting this into three lines I will draw empty space go horizontal 3 face supply like this fine so here I want to connect 3 fuses in order to connect RIB indication lamps again going back to the bus uh, empty bus go horizontal go vertical another bus okay okay fine it is done so here I will put three fuses I will go to the components insert menu fuses second fuse first fuse three phase fuse with the tags down this sheet number is 1 okay 101 one. this is not necessary you should also follow this tagging format component tags can be any format but I will show you what I follow and you can follow your own I'm putting it as 101 F3 see again if I am putting all the descriptions rating manufacture and all it may take more time so what I am trying to do here is I will not put so many data. Okay. So what is the drawback of that is I cannot extract the bill of material from this drawing. So if you need to extract the bill of material you have to put all the details. I practice that way. I do it. But here it will take more time. 
so that's why I'm just skipping these these steps I'm not putting a manufacturer catalog number anything else here installation code nothing okay I'm just putting the rating that's all 101 F123 2 ampere yes I have inserted three fuse now going back to the first sheet now I want to put ROB indication lamps go to icon menu here you can see pilot lights red standard R right I am going to put it as 101H1 ok now I am going to insert pilot light yellow 101H2 ok now I am going to insert pilot light blue 101 it's 3 fine so I have inserted three indication lamps it is not necessary you should put these colors only in fact I can put it otherwise also uh, see if I go to pilot lights uh, suppose if I am picking the white one put ok repeat put ok repeat ok repeat I can do it in this way also and if I want, don't want this color to be appeared in this just delete it delete it it won't make any difference until unless you don't want to extract the bill of material from this it doesn't make any difference you can draw as you wish right so the other end of this should be connected to connected to ground RIB indication right my normally I use a different directory of symbol directory so I'm not quite used with this library okay I have my own library I have created my own library so I have to look where it lies so therefore what I have done is you all these components you can find it here anyway but instead of wasting time I have copied a circuit here so that I can up I can use some components from here as well I'm going to put it here you don't do this this way As I mentioned in the earlier classes, these incoming circuits, the, these kind of circuits are standard. Once you make a standard drawing for an incomer, that is standard. Once you make a drawing for this particular drive, this is standard. Maybe you may have to change the ratings and all, that's all. Okay. So take your own time. That will be better. Now I am going to insert a circuit breaker circuit breaker motor control circuit breaker sorry this is that circuit breakers here I'm going to put a three pole motor circuit breaker here uh, sorry I want to put an ACB in fact circuit breaker where is that where is that circuit breaker three phase circuit breaker three pole motor three phase circuit breaker this is this symbol normally is for ACB three phase down 101 ACB 1 I'm just putting the rating that's all I don't remember what was the rating I think just okay 1600 sorry now I have to change it to 1600 amps 1600 amps yes update now if I don't want the first two to appear in the drawing you can hide this first two if you need only one fine this is okay now I have drawn this ROB indications the air circuit breaker now coming back the CT part there are three CTs in single light diagram it will show only one we can show only one CT 
see it is written here ct 1 to 3 but we cannot represent it in single line diagram three cts that's why it is called single line diagram now here i want to insert all the three cts 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 just a minute yeah cts you can hear current transformer you can see here this is oh shit cancel one zero one ct one rating if you know five okay repeat now you see the here is some spacing problem is here you can adjust that spacing with the scoot command okay but anyhow i'm not doing it now 101 cd2 again the same rating you can copy that rating from there as well 105 okay repeat here i'm going to put the third cd 101 cd3 okay these are three cities again if you want to move the attributes little bit here and there very well possible for better look <coughs> now i have to draw few wires from this You should very carefully observe how I draw wires and all. One side of the CDs will be shorter together. Another I'm taking till here. Here. These are the three CDs. Going back to the... Now it is connected to a KWS meter, kilowatt hour meter too. So for kilowatt hour meter I will just draw a simple rectangle here. Using symbol builder you can build any symbols for this KWH meter whatever things you require you can make uh, symbols. Properties layer I will change this layer as well. I'm bring it here, here, here. Now go back to schematic wires. You have to connect all these things with the wires. like this. This is nothing a beautification. See now for this kilowatt meter, kilowatt hour meter, I have simply drawn a rectangle. Okay. But this is not the right way. Here instead of making a rectangle, you should make a symbol with the terminals. With the I mean the kilowatt hour meter KWS meter, the make you use will be different from what I normally use. So depending upon the make, you have to create a symbols from the manual. You have to see what are the terminals which is to be connected to the CDs. That you have to see, you have to make a symbol and you should insert that symbol. You should save those symbols which you make in a separate directory from there you can browse and insert those terminals those symbols in the drawing and you should always follow that way only now again from the this meter again going back to 
instead of an ammeter selector switch i am putting a simple rectangle here i will write down here what it is this is a kwh meter fine and this is oh, sorry and this is a meter selector switch few symbols are may not be available in the library right so if you need few you, uh, some symbols which you normally frequently use then you should create a symbol for those now i need to connect a a meter here done insert go to a meter i think you will find out miscellaneous where is miscellaneous it is no not in this uh, miscellaneous here you will say instrumentation there must be something called instrumentation yeah it's here instrumentation ammeter now i am going to put this ammeter here this is my 101a1 and the rating is 0 to 1600 ampere again you have to fill up all these things at least the descriptions and manufacturer's name catalog number if you know catalog number otherwise put the series you know there must be some series of components like uh, for example 3rv 3rt series for cement makes so like that put some series at least installation is this lineup if it is a lineup 1 put lineup 1 whatever you put lup 1 or uh, line 1 anyway i mean you can put it as you wish this is again installation code the panel number which panel it is i use 01 tt if you want you use p1 you use p1 this is rating now this is that i want to move the shaft bit little bit up right so rib indications we have drawn ct kilowatt hour meter ammeter selector switch voltmeter now we have to put three fuses here for the voltmeter so i will again draw a from another bus i will draw like this right and i want to put three fuses here see all these components on the right hand side you can see these are recently used components you can pick it from here i'm going to put it here down this is my one of four to six four to six numbers four five six okay four five six this should be like this so it will looks nice all the faces in one line and i'm going to copy this particular component so this one from here to here as this is my ammeter selector so voltmeter selector switch voltmeter selector switch this is not the wire voltmeter selector switch that is there now i have to draw a wire to connect the voltmeters insert instrumentation go to instrumentation there you will find out voltmeter put it here 01 v1 
വോൾട്ടേജ് സീറോ ടു ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് വോൾട്ടേജ് സി ഓക്കെ മൂവ് ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ദിസ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഫിക്സ് റൈറ്റ് ദീസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് ടു റിപ്പീറ്റ് എ ആൾ ദി ടൈം ദീസ് ക്യാൻ ബി അലൈൻ ഐ മീൻ വെൻ യു ഇൻസ് വെൻ ഐ ഇൻസെർട്ട് ദി സിമ്പിൾസ് യു സി വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇസ് വാസ് ഇറ്റ് വാട്ട് ദി ടാഗ് കംസ് ഹിയർ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഇൻസെർട്ട് സംവെയർ അറൗണ്ട് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഐ എം ഗോട്ട് പുട്ട് ദിസ് ഇസ് ലൈൻ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ സി വോൾട്ട് മീറ്റർ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ബൈ ഡിഫോൾട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഹിയർ ബട്ട് ഐ അഡോപ്റ്റ് എ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് മെത്തോളജി മെത്തേ ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് ഡ്രോയിങ്സ് ടാഗിങ് ദർ ഫൈ ദർ ഫോർ ഐ എം പുട്ടിങ് in fact this should also be 101 not 1 101 this is my sheet 01 those all the prefix what, what i use here will be 101 101 101 see my sheet number 101 101 101 and in fact this should also be uh, 101 ass1 this 101 kwh1 one zero one vss one so everything will be with a prefix one zero one so voltmeter is also through now you have to connect three phases to this is nothing some technical connection i this thing you have to connect three phases to here so you just i will move little bit here i uh, will draw give three supplies from this to this if you go through the manual of uh, this power meter or a kws meter you will find out these terminals you can easily find out just go through the google and you can find out which makes you are looking and just search for the its details you will get the all the details so using symbol builder i can very easily build a symbol for this kilowatt me hour meter right so this is my circuit now incoming supply if i want i can write down here incoming 415 volt ac 50 hertz supply change i will change its layer proper layer zero and in fact if the customer gives you 415 volt supply that should not directly come to the acb so you have to provide some terminals right the cable from the field should come and connect to the terminals so terminals you will find here terminal round terminal square terminal one line components so i am putting terminals here oh, sorry round terminal 101 t1 1 it's not thing okay repeat repeat i provided three terminals here so if terminals you will find out some other good type of terminals to terminals and connectors see you here you can see a lot of terminals in fact i should have put one of this anyway putting this you will get you can even the terminal number also you will get here if you see if i am putting 101 any other terminal terminal with the terminal number mm, let me put this number this one so i'm putting this thing 101 t1 opposite is t2 t2 1 okay t2 2 okay t3 t. that means with a tag 101 t2 there are three terminals like in this case if we if we put this terminals here it will be 101 t11 One zero one T one two, one zero T one three. So this is what is called tagging, and this supply is going to the 
bus bar this is in fact going to the bus bar if i want i can put bus bars here but instead of that i'm just making let us assume this is our bus bar these are three bus bars which is running through i mean even the bus bar symbol is also available in this library right but i am not using that you should put those bus bar terminals bus bar symbols these are the three bus bars which is running throughout the panel if you want you can write it here in the panel bus bar r face y face b face you can write it here face bus if this is this this one why and this one is my b face so my incomer portion is true fine this is what my incomer circuit is all about and of course if the acb is of uh, with some control i mean some, uh, some uh, extra accessories like under voltage relay or shunt trip then of course those portions also you have to incorporate you can incorporate in this sheet under voltage coil you can show here controlling this under voltage coil, uh, coil and all that you can show in this sheet fine so this is my 101 sheet i will make sure in my drawing properties the sheet number is 101 right now i want to tap three wires from this three bus bar to my next panel physically i mean we cannot show like a bus bar throughout the, the i mean see in, if you see the layout these three this is running throughout the panel okay so that is what i've represented here as a bus bar if you want to show it in all the drawings that is also very well possible instead of this putting this bus bar it will continue this three lines will continue from one sheet to other the, then next then next and so on so on so on so on that was that is also another way here i am putting a drawing to taking two wires from here but i am showing you in this way just because it will give you how to put source destination arrow, arrow and all i know this particular three wires will go to my next sheet that is 102 that is this drive panel 102 because i have already prepared my single line diagram i know it will it is going to 102 so in that case what i do is i will put here source arrow 102 r1 fine and this for this i will put 102 y2 y1 no 102 b1 what it is asking is you see this is asking insert matching destination arrow because if i have the destination in this point in this drawing i should have if i pick ok it will ask me to pick the other wire but in fact i have not drawn the next wire so i am clicking no so this is my sheet 101 is all about now i will save Yes, this these these portions I don't want really because okay I will delete these portions. In fact, I will delete this too. This is my sheet one zero one. I'm going to save it as sheet one zero two. The first thing I do is I go to drawing properties and I will change my sheet property one zero two. Now I have added. 102 in this drawing uh, okay 
but that is not appearing in this my my project so right click add active drawing right so that will come here 102 now if you go back to the previous you can see you will go to 101 sorry yes now you see 102 this is 102 this is your 101 you can move from one to another this is my 102 sheet here we will draw the circuit for this drive 101 is through now we will draw this particular circuit for that I need block of a drive the drives the they are of uh, if they can be of ABB Alan Bradley Siemens Toshiba many many Siemens there are many makes so depending on the drive you which you use you have to create a symbol from the manual you have to see what are the terminals what are the connection points how it looks like and the more detail you show that the drawing will look nice look nice so here I have made a block that, uh, that is of a I think that is of Alan Bradley yeah I think it's Alan Bradley make See, this is one drive that block this is my 102 DRV1 whatever details you have you can put any details ratings the drive size unit rating anything so I'm not putting any rating now fine manufacturer these all things you have to take care while making this symbol you see symbol builder I'm putting okay this is my 102 drive one this is a block which I made using symbol builder in this P line and all while making the symbol builder take your own time make it in a fantastic way beautiful look give it a beautiful look because we are not going to make it every time this is a one time job the terminal numbers all things you can insert now I want to connect three phase supply into the input terminals of this that is R S T R the three input terminals of this particular drive so what I will do is I will See, there is option component okay you can draw three phase wire from a component select the window you, you see window can the select card enter mardo i select it just like stick this way it's drawn fine see now i have used another way of draw make uh, made another I used another way of drawing three phase line three phase wire from a component another bus I have used MD space I have this is nothing MD space horizontal and vertical those three methods basically see now this this is coming from the previous sheet okay there we have already given the tax as for source arrow there we inserted source arrow see yes go back to that previous sheet here these three these three supplies are going to be connected to that here we have ins allocated the uh, codes as 102R1 102Y1 102B1 these are source arrows in the next sheet we will provide destination arrows not source arrow destination arrow 102R1 the same code 102Y1 102B1 forgot about this question mark that will get updated later so we have connected these three to that bus bars fine now there is a choke input reactor I have another symbol for that reactor open 
1.02 LCH1 I'm not putting any rating millihenry microhenry nothing a symbol I'm not putting in rating here few things unnecessary things are here which I don't want hide I am going to hide this thing this thing this thing I want only one tag here I don't want anything this dashed line if you want to insert a link components with a dashed line you can this this is one component so I cannot if you are if you want to link two components you can very well link between two components using this uh, dashed link lines uh, what is that this thing link components with the dashed line so it is here now I want to connect it to a motor fine again multi component okay just take this terminals inside a window enter and take it through here now I want to insert a motor go to motor motors motors motor control yeah three phase motor I'm going to insert it here that is 102 M1 my motor okay beautiful wow I've missed to insert a circuit breaker before this line shock fine I will do that also insert circuit breaker that's a molded case circuit breaker this symbol see the symbol yeah, yeah. while making the single light diagram and wiring diagram you should re keep in mind the standard which you like to follow these are IEC standards sorry NEMA standards so in IEC if you, are, you want if you want to make the drawings in IEC it will be slightly different the symbol uh, the representation will be slightly different and while making the schematic diagram also this is if you see the flow I'm drawing it from left to right the flow is from left to right this is how we f make drawings in NIMA if you are making the drawings in IEC it should coming from top to bottom top to bottom everything should be from top to bottom but in this case it is from left to right this is the difference basic difference of standard in between IEC and NIMA okay so I am putting this this is a MCCB I am putting it here and this is 102 MCCB1 fine 102 if I want to put the current suppose 125 ampere I put it here fine wow if you don't want if you want to hide something you hide it this is true now we have made two drawings one is of this incomer and another of this a particular drive this is we have what we have shown is only the power I mean like this all these drives comes with a IO card input output cards there you can right where the start push button stop push button fault reset push button everything so for that also you have to create a card with the terminal numbers then you can create the circuit as you like so now if I do the wire numbering I'm going to do see now you, this question mark is here there is no wire number it is question mark fine if I do the wire number project wide I'm going to do the wire number there are only two sheets I'm going to do all okay now you see this take a here one zero one share a ferrule this ferrule number note down one zero one two one last two digits you note down two one four one and six three this thing you will find in the first sheet actually in fact see these ferrules are these ferrules are placed here because I have drawn these bus bars with the wire layer wire if you, you should insert a bus bar symbol here not should wire because this program AutoCAD you know how it 
writes the wire di uh, wire number it is starts reading from top here from left top left it start reading from here 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 aise hi niche ki tarah pad gaya tha to jo ye yahan par sabse pehle ye padha isne although this is the same wire from mc acb is point say outgoing side of this acb to all this is one wire but ye program pehle ye point pakda sabse top mein so that is why it is written 21 if you see 101 this is 2 sheet 101 and 21 so if i want to move this wire number here i will place it here 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 see 10121 it is going to 1024 fantastic na no? this is how you can create distribution diagrams or schematic diagrams from single line diagram using single line diagram this is only about an incomer and a drive panel in the next session i will demonstrate you how to make a complicated control diagram with a auto manual change over switch okay and a connection from plc and from panel so there we we have to use so many relays that will give you clear idea about how to do the cross referencing how to insert uh, ladders and many things so next session we will cover that till then